One important factor with 134A refrigerant is you'll need to replace the dryer. Here's why. 134A contains ester oil, and when overheated, ester oil breaks down into a fine powder, a form of salt. That powder will slip right by the screen in the dryer and build up in the first six inches of the cap tube. So if you've got a 134A system, you should not only replace the dryer, but also about six inches of cap tube. Go ahead and cut the dryer off first. That will make it easier to work with the cap tube. Now, factory installed dryers will have about an inch and a half of capillary tube inside of them, so you'll only need to measure about three to four inches here. The cap tube is too small to cut with a tubing cutter. The cutter will collapse the end. So what you need to do is just score the tube with a file and break it off. Check to make sure that you've got a clean break inside here. You can't have any restrictions in this tube that would affect the flow of refrigerant. Never sweat the dryer off to preserve tubing. Your torch will heat up the desiccant in the dryer. The desiccant will release the moisture that it has absorbed and you'll contaminate the system. Always cut the dryer out of the system. On badly contaminated systems, replace the dryer with a special service dryer containing a section of activated aluminum ahead of the standard desiccant. The aluminum helps remove acid from a badly contaminated system. The desiccant removes moisture. It's very important that you install the dryer with the inlet above the outlet. Refrigerant must be pushed up the capillary tube. Be sure and get one half to three quarters of an inch of capillary into the dryer to assure that you don't weld the end of the cap tube shut. Insert about a half inch of the hot tube outlet into the dryer filter. You should remove the Schrader fitting before you start welding. Even though the valve is far enough from the point of the weld to avoid damage, it could be affected by accidental exposure to the flame. When the joints have cooled to safe temperature, tuck the dryer into the cabinet you're now ready to evacuate and charge the system.